Okay, my name's Mike, and I thank you for looking at my ad for my 2007 Country Coach Sienna 36 Quad Slide, 400 horsepower, luxury motorhome. We're gonna take a quick trip around it, try and get as much of it into the camera as I can. <clears throat> Got her opened up in all her glory. All the slides are out, all the bays are open. Except the engine bay, which I'll open them when I go buy it. <clears throat> you can see that it has a setup for a towed vehicle. Um, you'll need to put your stuff on your towed vehicle. That's a whole nother science. I believe it's an RVI braking system. <clears throat> you can see the control light and stuff up in the cab as we move along. <clears throat> this is a Cat C9, 400 horsepower, <clears throat> six cylinder diesel. It runs like a, just, it runs like a sewing machine. It's a great engine. Everybody tells me that, that, that was the one to get. That was the one I hunted for. It took me about five years to buy this thing. After two years, I'm selling it because my girlfriend just is not into RVing. So, we'll see how that goes. Get around the lemon tree here. Start from the port side. As you see, we have everything opened up. And we're going to go by another lap around this puppy. And show you what we can in the way of the good stuff and the bad stuff. A lot of the good stuff is factory installed awnings. Very, very good paint. It's been, as far as I know, it's been stored indoors most of its life. I have it indoors here. Someone asked for pictures of all the bays. So there's one. Someone asked me about what year the tires. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Worst comes to worst, I'll buy you a new set of tires. They'll be a cheap set, though. Someone else asked about the plumbing bay here for the sewer and stuff. Here you go. It's all nice and clean in there. This thing has been well taken care of all its life. Here's the LP tank. I forget. I think it's 36 gallons or something like that. Here's the pass-through storage. This is a nice tray here. It'll go either direction, full tilt, and it slides nice and easy, works really well, latches up. There's a port here for the power cord, which is on a reel right above it. I have a port installed. You might be able to see it here. You'll see it better when we get to the other side. One of the things that sold me on this vehicle is, is Country Coach's reputation in general, but these latches impressed the heck out of me. They look like something off a 747 or maybe a, a, a Greyhound bus or something, but they are built and they are, you could, I think you could hang a bolt door on them. That being said, they all work pretty good. This one has the same hinges, but the nylon latch broke off. I have a new one on order from Pacific Coach in Oregon, I believe their name is. It's some information I'll give you if you do purchase this. It, uh, I might give it to you even if you don't. And you have a country coach. They uh, have all of country coach's intellectual property rights. There's a, uh, this is your 24 volt, four, six volt deep cell batteries. They're about a year old, they're Trojans. When I pulled them out and replaced them, I pulled this tray out. Uh, this tray is pretty heavy duty. If I can get it out here. And these batteries weigh about 250 pounds, I think, between the four of them. They weigh a lot, that's for sure. And I sprayed this compartment down with cold zinc galvanizing paint, including the tray. After cleaning whatever corrosion I could find, it wasn't a lot, but there's going to be some. It's a 13 year old coach. And uh, then I covered the, everything up with truck bed 
uh, bed liner coating. Really good stuff. And I, I hope it's going to take care of it. Here's a 2000 watt inverter. It's a Xantrex. Again, this door will not latch closed. You look at the side of the vehicle. The paint is all in really good shape. The screens are all good. The windows all work properly. You can see that, you know, these, these type of lights, they'll end up just cracked up and destroyed if they're ever stored in the sun very long. Seals on the slides are good. Again, all the slides have awnings over them to keep out the water and leaves and things like that. <clears throat> These coaches come from Oregon. They, they're used to leaves. So I don't have a lot of leaves here in Bullhead City. I can see a little bit of rough here in, in the paint. It's all in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of crazing on the other side. We'll take a look at that. Again, the windows all look good. There's no fogging that I've seen. That's, I mean, I've, I've looked at them because people are, oh, there's any fogging. They're dirty. The whole coach is dirty. I've got a uh, detail guy coming out next week. I got a repair guy coming out Wednesday to look at a couple of things and fix as much as I can as far as what's wrong with the coach. He'll probably find stuff that I don't even know what it was. I'm, I'm already finding things I didn't know what they were. This is a little control bay for the slide out for the generator. It's an Onan 8kV diesel generator. It also has a set of relays and fuses and everything else in there. A whole bunch of good stuff. Um, again, I, I don't know that much about these things. So the uh, generator, I, I meant to leave it cold because we'll start it and it won't even... Normally when you start these, you got to heat the glow plugs a little bit. This thing's probably just gonna fire right up. Yeah, see, it's still kind of warm. I had it running earlier. But it, it starts all the time. It's in good shape. It's got eight, almost 800 hours on it. I don't know if that's a lot or a little. It is a well-known Onan, one of the best. The system that it rolls out on is really heavy duty. Again, this thing's built like a freight train. That's one of the reasons I bought it is because it's built really well. This little system here that gets you to the generator is motorized. It allows you to close it back up using this motor. I don't know if there's a hand crank on it or not, if it fails. I don't know, <laughs> never thought of it. Failure is not an option. You see everything's pretty clean. This, the wiring and stuff in here, I worked in the electrical industry for almost 40 years. The, the wiring job is top notch. It's all done really well. I'm very impressed with this coach. I wish they were still in business, but I couldn't afford a new one anyway. Jesus, this thing was $330,000 when it was new. All right, the uh, windshield I believe is fairly new. They, uh, Mike, I bought this coach from Mike Thompson in Corona two years ago, almost. And uh, they put a new refrigerator in it. And to do that, you got to take the windshield out. And I believe they put a new one in. It's in perfect shape. There's no, there's no problems with it all. No leaks, no problems at all. Uh, National Indoor RV Centers over in Las Vegas is where I stored it for a little while before I got this garage behind us cleaned out enough to put the RV in it. And I highly recommend them. They take care of your coach to keep you charged up. It's like a valet service. You call them up, say, I want to go somewhere. And they say, well, we'll have your coach ready when? And you tell them and they have it ready. Well, now we're on the starboard side. Take a peek inside. I wanted to point out how, like this, this screen door, this thing is a, a real door. It's not a little aluminum piece of stuff that uh, you see on a lot of trailers. This thing's built. Doors real solid also. These stairs impress the heck out of me. If you look at, a, and even some of the country coaches I looked at, it's just these hanging little steel um, scissor-like uh, stair steps that look a lot like what was on my national gasser, which was a real headache, but you know, it's RVs are RVs, man. You know them, they can be a pain. So this step works fine. As you can see here, 
and it's it looks good you know it's it's not it's not just this little mickey mouse steel plate on a rod it's it's a staircase moving along more of the side of the, of the rv it, again it's very dirty here's a little bit of cracking in the paint didn't notice that Here's one of the bays. If someone was interested in seeing all the bays, again, these, these engines are just massive. They are truly massive. Go on over to the other side of the pullout. This slides both ways, all the way across. Nice and easy, even when it's loaded up, it rolls real nice. As long as you don't have stuff underneath here that gets in the way. This is a port that I installed so that I could run the cord from that side over here and out because in my garage, the power supply is on the right-hand side of the garage. So there's another bay for our bay person. This is the uh, boiler for the hydronic heat. And it's bay. There's nothing here. This is basically where the sink is and the refrigerator. The engine battery, I think it's a size 8D, they call it. It's about 200 bucks at Sam's Club. Um, I have a uh, battery tender here, and when I have the coach plugged in, I just run the battery line up through this window and plug it in right there up above the uh, cabinets under the TV in the bedroom. Very handy. Here's the last bay on the starboard side. Uh, anybody knows what those two plugs are? Let me know, because I don't know what they are. <laughs> but uh, that's the last of the bays. So that pretty much covers the outside of the vehicle. It was that cracking I showed you on the paint. And we slipped by this area over here where in the, in the maroon, it's a little bit of checking in there. This is supposed to be full paint. And a little more, almost like checking in here. Kind of weird looking. All right, so let's go inside. Again, full awnings everywhere on the slides, the doors, and of course a large awning for the outside. The, uh, Step cover here. You push it the right way, it works perfectly. That's so you don't fall on your keister when you're stumbling around in the middle of the night. It's really nice. This adds that much more usable area to the coach. We got visors up in front here. This one I got specifically from the Adams family set. It works okay, it just makes a lot of noise. It also operates from the driver's side. Got a little swing out tray here. I find this real handy. It's where my phone and everything else is when I was on the road with it. Here's a view from all the way from one end. The other, I've got most of my crap out of here. I forgot that light. I wanted it on. It's a little bit cloudy today here in Bullhead. Very humid, but not so hot that the camera quits working. I had a few requests for the driving area, driving, you know, the captain's seat, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's 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 pretty comfortable. It's real handy. I, I never had a diesel before, you know, diesel motorhome. I had a diesel truck, but everything is real accessible. This chair is super comfortable. As you can see, there's no problems with the leather on the chair at all. It's real supple still. It's a really really good quality stuff. I don't know if it's original, but I believe it is. It does match the couch, which again is. In perfect shape this couch folds out into an air mattress queen size bed this visor here is powered 
but it didn't come from the Adams family set, so it's a lot quieter. And you see it there. This awning here, or shade, is manual. This fan quit working. That fan's still working. The TV works. Um, we'll talk about that later. We're going to fire it up here. So the engine's running. Get in the front. And what I'm going to do is set this up, hopefully, so that you can see me. Not that I'm not much fun to look at. But what I want to do is arrange the seats. The seats swivel. And make it a much nicer living area. This driver's seat is eight-way, I believe, power, power adjustable. The passenger seat swivels also. It has a power foot rest. Somewhere. There we go. Found it. Don't spend much time over here. So it has a power foot rest and then there's a little footstool for the captain's chair when you're hanging out in here. Back to the seasick motion. Um, here's the uh, couch and a dinette. This slides out a little more. It's in when it's on the road, when it comes out. These two chairs are folding chairs and they're stowed back in the back. I can show you where when we get back there. Um, these cabinets and all the woodwork is all solid maple. It's all real good stuff. This is, this is a very, very nice coach. Um, lights are all working around here these all these pull down shades are in good shape uh the windows all work i again i, I don't see any signs of, of fogging or anything else um let's see this couch as far as i know it's original but i i really don't know because it's not the same material as this couch and it doesn't fold out into a bed i believe this thing folds down it's like a jackknife bed I put sleeps four. You could really sleep six in here pretty easy, I believe. Especially if you had four kids. On to the kitchen. This is the Advantium microwave convection oven. So you can cook a turkey in, in there just like at home if you have a convection oven. I had someone ask about the sink. I guess I didn't have it. The pictures I had of the sink, I didn't put online. The double sink. No garbage disposal. More windows, more cabinets. Four door refrigerator. Again, it's fairly new. I uh, still have the sticker on the uh, ice maker. I've never fired it up. A little bit of storage below the refrigerator. Again, a lot of cabinets for a 36 foot coach. Fantastic fan in the living room area. We're gonna move all the way to the back of the coach here in the bedroom. I uh, had someone ask me to give a full picture of the windows. So here is a full picture of the starboard window and a full picture of the window above the bed itself. It's a queen size bed. It's got a power outlets on one side, just this side over here on the right. Let's see if I can set this up. Here's your uh, combo washer dryer and another cabinet. That's the power outlet I was talking about for the battery charger. The small vanity sink in the bedroom. Might have a light burned out there. We'll fix it. Um, I believe the same person that was interested in the windows wanted a measurement on the windows. 
I would say this window is a queen size window. Let's see if that'll stay there for a second. It's like about 59 inch window above the bed. And across from the bed, it's uh, about 45, 45, 46 inches, something like that. That uh, same person, I believe, asked me for a measurement on the closet. The closet's wide open right now, so that's as far as the door is going to go open. So it opens 29 inches, and the closet goes back there a ways. The inside of the closet is about 65 inches. by 75 inches and it's about 21 inches deep so hopefully that's the measurement you're interested in um, and all the views you guys are interested in as far as the bedroom now I'm going to swing around so that you can see all the way down the coach into the living area and you can't really see much because it's just the, the door portal it's got a door for the bedroom here. Really nice stuff. It's it, uh, everything in this coach is really well built. All maple, good shape. I don't see any signs of leakage from the roof anywhere. A lot of people worry about the roofs on these things. Um, again, Country Coach is real well known for building a good solid coach. Shower stall, nice big glass enclosed shower stall. That was one of my biggies, I'm a big boy. Uh, right now this plumbing, this um, hose and all this is leaking like crazy. So I gotta get it, I'll have it fixed next week when a mechanic gets here. It's got a skylight in the uh, shower stall. And in the bathroom itself, porcelain, tank, uh, porcelain pot, porcelain sink, just like the sink in the bedroom. Uh, you know, I haven't cleaned these out yet. What surprises do we have? Toilet paper and porta packs. All stuff that you'll be able to use. Um, I did leave one rag behind. Oh, and a big pair of toenail clippers. Those don't come with the coach unless you want to pay extra. So there's your bathroom. It's got its own fan. Um, you know, it's it's nice, it's tiled, it's not plastic crap. Looks like uh, I might be missing a little piece of tile there. I'll fill it with epoxy. We'll figure something out. Uh. So that's the bathroom. People were asking about it. The light panel. This is, is the slide controls. This is the uh, air conditioning and then a power panel. Tells you what's going on. Um, I'm pretty sure the generator is already off. It'll fire right up. When the light's on, it indicates it's on. This is the control panel for the slides, which we're going to operate in a second here. Um, so that's how she looks when she's opened up. See we got a little better shot of the living room here for you. 24 minutes, boy, this is gonna be long and boring. Hope you hope you like listening to the drone of my voice. It's got a dishwasher. I didn't point that out earlier. Um, never used it. I, I've had it tested, but I've never used it. Okay, so we're going to uh, batten it up here so we can close up the slides. Um, we want to close up. There's a little bit of wear on one of the chairs here. Heavens to Betsy. Oh, there's, I meant to point this out. There's a little, uh, I think some water damage here when this was leaking before or something. I don't know. I, I haven't had any problem with it. 
I believe it was repaired because again I haven't seen any uh, signs of water and it, it has been in the rain I was in a pretty heavy rain down in, off the Colorado River so that's that chair out of the way and the captain's chair it's a two-handed thing this captain's chair doesn't go far enough back to impinge on this slide which is good because it, it gives back when I was 400 pounds I, I could still drive this thing quite easily and the chair survived that too I'm a svelte 260 now so I keep that maple table up on the on the couch there this footstool and again, I can't tell how well this is videoing, but this footstool fits underneath the table. The table slides in. These folding chairs have an area to get stowed in. back in the back we'll head back to the back I'm just gonna put it there for now but right there is the strapping system and a little ledge that those chairs sit on to stay out of the way and I flop over like that you can see the tile floors are in good shape there's no cracks there's no problems there's no stains really on the carpet it's old you know you might think about replacing it I don't know we're just going to leave those there for right now I don't think the extra weight will bother the slide motor at all I missed a compartment here it's your fuel or circuit breaker panel instead of fuses it's got nice home quality circuit breakers not the little push button ones that used to drive me crazy okay there's another door here for making the bedroom and bathroom a little more private uh, it works fine also it's your basic pocket door design works just great everything on the coach for the most part works and anything I can get fixed I will fix for you well, again a last look at the wide open spaces with the slides out I had a picture online of one this port side forward slide not um, all the way in so people were asking me oh the slides work all right yes the slides work fine if they don't we'll get them repaired but they I know they work fine I just I had one repaired quite a while ago I'm gonna set this here and then I'm gonna turn it around so it's looking at me instead of the wall and I'm gonna measure this slide over here I'm a few inches short over there story of my life 130 so about it's, it's a 12-foot slide and then this slide looks the same length that one was 144 inches this one's about 136 it looks like but they're both over 10 foot slides It's one of the questions on the RV Trader ad thing. Oh, no, on NADA, when you're coming up to the value. Again, the NADA price in this thing, the retail, low retail was 104, 105, something like that, up to 123. Um, so that's it for that. That's, that's what she looks like opened up. Now we got her ready to close up. We'll operate the slides. The one in the back. Slides real nice and even. There's a storage area under the bed, but I wouldn't recommend it because all the mechanism for the slide is in there and you don't want to get anything wound up in there. There is two drawers and you can store quite a bit of stuff in those. So there's the back closed up. 
front closed up. This is the one that I had trouble with when I first bought it. I got it repaired. It was basically a little shear pin that sheared like they're supposed to. And uh, it works fine now. And the last one here. thing comes way in. This slide on the port side goes out quite a bit farther than the one on the right. I'm not sure what the thinking is there. And that's the one I didn't get in all the way. I go, well, it must be in by now. But it's in now. All the seals look real good on these slides. Um, again, you can have somebody come check this thing out, professional check it out for you, whatever you want to do. I'm going to leave the lights on in here for now. Again, you have to have the motor running to operate the slides. So the motor was running. One thing I was shown early in life on this thing is this thing, it has cruise control system and it, you can actually turn the cruise control system on while you're sitting still and raise your engine speed up. And that, that'll help you get your tanks charged up and stuff if you've been sitting for quite a while. computerized leveling system down there where it says Roadmaster that's a light for the braking system when you step on your brake you look at that to make sure the brakes are coming on in your towed vehicle <sighs> the uh, entertainment system is lacking totally um, the TV I know it works I uh, had guys come in we started working on this satellite thing can't get it to bounce open. Come on. We took it apart. It needs. I need to put it all back together. We, this this is loose. I tried to put Direct TV in it. In it. The um, they got it working. I don't know if I've ever used it or not. I don't think I have. I'm paying for it, but I haven't used it. This control panel for the uh, over the road uh, satellite dish. And for the awning, the awning has a wind sensor on it to shut it when uh, the wind gets high. Um, I have the power on it right now. And we can extend the uh, awning from here. I also have a remote button, a remote fob for the uh, awning. I believe this, the sticker says this thing has remote or keyless entry. I'm really not sure. There it is extended. When the wind blows, it's supposed to go close if you have the wind sensor set on, on auto retract. We're going to retract it. And it's in good shape. There's no holes, no tears. I'm sure it's some umbrella, which means the fabric's about two grand on that puppy. Anybody that knows, knows. That umbrella material is extremely expensive, but it's really good stuff. It, it holds up to the sun better than almost, well, anything else other than hard material certainly better than any fabric um, so it's all closed up looks like my seal could use a little work on this one I'll have the guy take a look at that again if there's any problems I'll get them fixed um, if you got any more questions measurements we want to it taken uh, let me know. You can email me through RV Trader. I did forget to show you this. This is a complete set of manuals and everything in the coach. All nicely uh, organized. Pretty easy to find. Alright. So we'll shut her down here.
and take a lap around the outside to show you that all the slides indeed operated just fine. All bay doors except for that one are closed up tight. Awnings are up tight. I meant to get out here with the engine running so I can show you it doesn't smoke, but it, it doesn't smoke. That engine is pretty bulletproof. You see the uh, tags are good till November. And I, everybody covers that up online, so I covered it up. I'm not sure why. This side's all closed up good. They're closed in all the way. Except that one little bay door that wants to drive me nuts. And that's it. You got any other questions or want stills of other stuff? Let me know. Thanks a lot for viewing my ad.